I am a suboptimal man, so I go for a suboptimal knee replacement. So patellar resurfacing is totally not to be done routinely. I love to put Dr. Ranavath's photo and my photo there, but out of respect I didn't do that. First TKR did not feature a patellar resurfacement. Patellar resurfacement was not part of many knee implant designs. Technology and instrumentation have improved tibial and femoral resurfacing, but few such advances have occurred with patellar resurfacing. Orthopedic knowledge update, AOS. Despite more than 10 years of experience with patellar resurfacing, the procedure associated with 10% rate of related complications and accounts for almost 50% of the long-term complications of total arthroplasty. Patellar problems, most common cause of post-operative pain. Everybody agrees that. Incidence high in obesity, chondromalacia, preoperative anterior knee pain, patellar tilt. So the jury is still out. I would say in very simple terms, in the honeymoon with total knee, patella is the mother-in-law. Always a pain, but you cannot ignore. Normal biomechanics of patella, everybody knows that, increased movement um, of cordyceps mechanism, and it provides 50% of the increase in knee extension than after patella activity. So basically, the quadriceps and patella have got much become better mechanical function. So after the total knee arthroplasty, if you see the biomechanics, resurfaced patella has 40% increase in strain and decrease in tensile strength as opposed to native patella. Patella resurfacing emerged as a major source of complications requiring reoperation. Complications, mechanical failure, dynamic instability, local pain. So patella resurfacing is not a simple or benign procedure as it believed to be. Over resection leads to fracture, under resection decreased range of movements, oblique resection, mal tracking. Patella resurfacing so, uh, stroke non-resurfacing results of a randomized control trial at 10 years by Rohrbach. Every parameter measured either equal or favored the non-resurfaced patella. Anterior knee pain, 30 seconds stair climb, flexion torque, lateral release, pain score, all better in non-resurfaced. Why are TKRs failing today? Sharkey paper, Insal award. Avian of patella among top 10 leading causes of revision totally. Most often related to extensive lateral release, virtually unique to resurface patella. Lateral release much less common in every non resurface series. Lateral release, you can see that non resurface very, very minimal. Anterior knee pain, patella resurfacement does not significantly reduce anterior knee pain, another paper. In fact, in Indian patients, it's mostly posterior knee pain. People keep on saying about the hamstring spasms rather than the anterior knee pain. Patella resurfacing also alters contact areas and contact stresses, another paper by Benjamin. So Barrett Arthroplasty 2003. Kinematics are more abnormal when patella is resurfaced than when it is retained. Higher and contact stresses are lower in the native patella compared to resurfaced patella. Again, clinical orthopedics 1993. Totally without resurfacing, the patella provided satisfactory long-term results and a high degree of patient satisfaction. Robert Barrett. Patients who have resurfacing must contend with the risk of post-operative anterior pain in the knee for which there may not be an adequate solution. If I don't replace the patella, at least I can tell that I will resurface the patella, there is a chance. If you replace the patella and still if you got anterior knee pain, God save them. <laughs> Overview of the literature, we can say that biomechanically resurfaced patella is at disadvantage. No significant difference is found in any of the parameters compared in studies between the resurfaced and non-resurfaced. On the small size Asian patella, added to the problems. So I'm sure you would agree that our patella are much smaller and fractures are much more. In today's patient, activity of total is much more as compared in the past, which can lead to potential wear, deformation, patella stress fracture, prosthetic loosening. Benefits of non-resurfaced patella, conservation of native bone, easy salvage, permission of high patella femoral forces, faster and cheaper. Why it works in modern implants? Because major trend in design, as Dr. Ranavath said, improving patella femoral articulation, increased congruency, contact area, and decreased contact stress. And extended trochlear groove, almost all the implants offer this, that also improved the patella femoral tracking. What's my experience? I do patelloplasty or tidy up, more than 4,000 knees in last seven to eight years. Only three knees I replaced, three patella. We went in six to nine months after we the patella. Out of these three, two had good outcome, one is still not happy. In fact, I sent him to Ashwat Raj Gopal. What do I do? I just do the denervation, remove the osteophytes, what we call circumcision, and debulking if needed, and smooth and see the tracking. In my feeling, the tracking is much more important than to resurface or not resurface. Patella-friendly femoral components, patella tracking is more important than resurfacement. 
and uh, I would think that this is my position now. That is Dr. Ranavath, and this is me. But in his own words, he says, never question the success. So in my own series, I never had problems. So I leave the rest to the jury. Thank you.